Hello, my beautiful Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your weekly mystic. This is our beautiful collective reading for the days of the week beginning August 30th, which is Monday through Sunday, September the 5th. Many blessings to you as we end one month and begin the next. Let's see what this week's energy has in store. You can always uh, look for your playlist of different horoscope signs. I have them all lumped together. So if you go to the playlist section of my YouTube channel at Royal Mystic Tarot, you can watch yours and all others. And you can also see it by the time which I've uploaded it. So I do it by the month and by the sign. And if you watch the weeklies and dailies, they're there as well. And um, without any further ado, we'll go right on into this energy. Always remember, if you would like a private reading, please visit royalmystic.com where you can schedule your own different reading. There's different services, so you can check that out. And here we go. We have the High Priestess and the Three of Wands. So very solid energy about being in the flow, allowing yourself to be guided, moving forward without uh, resistance, and opening yourself to the energy of the universe with the Three of Wands, which is leaving behind something that can be planted. It can stand on its own. It's not that you're abandoning it. You've completed it, and it is now time to move in the direction of the new beginning of what you're looking at. So anytime you see their back to us in the reading, it is talking about moving forward. And this is the best way to move forward in my opinion because you're allowing the universe to assist you in doing that. So here we go. Thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, Gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek. We thank you so much for these blessings and beautiful messages. And we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So we have these cards that kind of stood on their side. So this is Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Sunday. So those of you who have not watched my, my weekly readings previously, the energies in this reading are about the days of the week. It is like a, an energy forecast. For the week coming up and that is how this is read we have the six of cups as our underlier which is the energy of your soul family these are people your soul tribe these are people who are going through this lifetime with you have most likely gone through many other lifetimes we have an agreement on the other side of the veil with certain groups and tribes of people um, to help each other through the, the trials and tribulations of life so your tribe is here, whether it's your actual family or friends that have become like family. We have the Ten of Rods, which is a fabulous energy of releasing the burden, being allowed to move forward. Whatever's been holding you back is now being taken off your shoulders. The good news is that you have a new fertile beginning happening. This is the beautiful Ten of Rods with new growth. So it can mean beginning your new thing. Also, I want to talk about quickly the Six of Swords that was in the cut card energy. The Six of Swords really echoed the energy of the previous two cards, the High Priestess and the Three of Rods. That's the energy of being very much in a place of moving forward following divine guidance with the equipment you need and this is also about moving forward starting the new next beginning so you're you've brought everything you could have to bear and this isn't now bearing fruit so here we go let's see what we've got there we go queen of swords and i'll go one more time all right so we know we got the queen of swords here which is very strong if you have an, a job interview or need to do speak something or this is being very fluent in your knowledge and being able to really display what you know 
in a very positive way. So if you have a job interview, you'll be acing it. That's a really good energy for those of you who are dealing with that on Monday. Let's see what else. Oh, Nine of Cups. Hello, Nine of Cups. We love that energy. So you've got the Six of Cups, which is your soul family, and the Nine of Cups, which is your heart's desire being granted and being very content and happy and satisfied. So solid energy there in the underliers. We have Good Fortune as our top card here. The universe provides me and my family with prospects for good fortune. Always a blessing. That is really what we have to be in a, in a mindset of. We are the, I am the kind of person who receives abundance from sources known and unknown. The universe brings good fortune to me and, and prospects for good fortune to me and my family. Right? This is that affirmation. So good things happen all the time. Why not you? Why not me? Why not the people we love? Focus. I focus my logical mind and make smart, effective business decisions. So logic is part of our natural existence in the natural world. Being in a place of, of making logical decisions is important because when it comes to uh, how to spend your money and things like that. You know, what do you want to put your money into? Will it be a smart thing to do that? That's all logic. When you're in a place of manifesting more money, that's when you're using the creative source side. And we're using affirmations, right? Because regardless of what, what we're trying to logically bring in, we also need uh, to be connected to the place where things can happen better and bigger and and more often even if we don't see the way logically got to have that balance between logic and creative source gratitude is the answer to that this is hedonite and hedonite is up here it's very pale this is a little more green but you can see when i put it beside it it looks pretty close this one's polished this is natural so hedonite you can get these in the little rock shops for like a dollar a piece. I have my other piece here. So we love us some Hedonite. It sounds like it would be something something else, doesn't it? <laughs> oh. There's a place in uh, up near Austin called Hippie's Holler that I'm sure is uh, it's Hippie Hollow, but I call it Hippie Holler. I believe that's where people sunbathe without their bathing suit on. Uh, Icosahedron, the feminine divine, being in a place where you are in the creative source energy. So you've got your root chakra, which is the grounded energy, of, and the orange energy of the solar plex. I mean, not your solar plex, it's your sacral. And the icosahedron is the energy of source. So... That is the sacred geometry of growth and things being brought in from the outer realms to create new abundance. Remember, focusing, being in a place of the creative source energy and the logic. So this is a perfect pairing here, the perfect balance. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the hanged man, which is saying, take a look from a higher perspective. The wheel represents your soul or crown chakra your soul connection so pulling your your awareness into that which is what this symbolizes is literally bringing your awareness into that meditative space and allowing yourself to see from that point of view will give you the ability to move in clarity so that you have the whole picture so monday's a good energy getting the clarity you need and the ability to to literally display it through conversation and communication with that queen of swords we have tuesday so we have the hanged man queen of swords for monday tuesday's the page of wands who so he's always the town crier he's kind of the go tell it guy so he's ready to give you whatever information you need to help you move forward 
and it may be them calling you in for or calling you back past this moment here to getting it, the, the energy. It's saying the Three of Pentacles is where you are putting in the effort that's going to pay off. So pay attention to the details and get yourself dialed in so that you can fully create this abundance double for your trouble. So you, do, you don't want to miss anything. Don't you want to include everything that you need to include, all the paperwork, all the certificates, anything they're asking for, include that, whether it's a job or financing or whatever it is. This little page, this, the, this means action, okay? Now, Wednesday, you got the page, so Tuesday was the Page of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Wednesday is the Four of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. So the Four of Swords is a very clear message to get yourself into repair. Get into the restoration energy. Allow yourself some downtime. Don't, don't go past the point of, of what you feel is good for you. So don't, if you've had a hard night and you didn't sleep all night, don't go right back out and party till the dawn. You don't want to burn yourself out because you're trying to focus yourself to get yourself into the groove here and establish the flow of money. But to do that, you have to let the outer world do its own thing and not be distracted by it. So even if your, your friends are trying to talk you into doing something else, you really need to stay focused on Wednesday because that's the energy of repair and, and rejuvenation and restoration. If you try to get out into this mix, you're going to end up jeopardizing the whole thing. So you see, he's intentionally got his eyes shut. He's trying to ignore the outer and just staying in his inner focus. So that's what Wednesday's all about. Regroup. Restore, regroup, regenerate. Thursday, very nice. It looks like somebody's leaving one job and going to the other here. <laughs> so very much, we had that ten of rods show up, so this... Two of swords, the two swords that are down here in the Seven of Swords energy. The Seven of Swords is indicating something being left behind or released. You're walking away from what no longer serves you. It can mean two weeks' notice. It can be um, any of the energy of, of letting go of something that is inhibiting you or has, is no longer useful to you. So whatever that means to you. Um, this is definitely moving in the right direction the ten of rods is either taking a new job now that is more fer you know fertile and and profitable and fruitful and very happy to do so so very happy to have that energy come in the ten of rods comes twice well hello wheel of fortune for thursday that's a really great energy <laughs> so we release karmic holds we allow the red lights to turn green, the doors open, all doors open. Doors of opportunity from every direction, even doors you didn't previously know existed, are now available. And all things that have been blocking you dissolve to dust. They're vaporized. So, and how, how are we going to know about this? Well, you got a divine timing thing here. Three days, three weeks, three months, their time's a charm. So this is the energy of those three swords coming out of the, whatever's been blocking you. And now you can move forward with a whole heart. And we have Saturday, Sunday energy. Well, that's very nice. The emperor is the energy of something coming full form, fully manifesting. This is the weekend energy of Saturday and Sunday. You see the gold um zodiac wheel here in the empress's card it is a hollow framework so this is it full form fully active it's also the aries major arcana so having that energy oh yeah with the king of pentacles so this is king midas this is full financial backing or full financial offer coming in so that is the commitment being made financially so those of you who are waiting on that decision Looks like this is coming through this week for you. Many, many good energies here. I'm very happy to give this reading. So we'll do a little gratitude with our hearts and uh, breathe in the energy of gratitude and breathe in and open our heart chakra. Breathing in beautiful white divine light from your crown chakra. Inhale. 
As we hold the energy of gratitude and grateful energy in our hearts for all the beautiful things in our lives that begin to flow and move in the right direction and all the right opportunities are presented to us as we move in our highest frequency and allow ourselves to be in a place of open healing, divine love, divine peace, joy, and happiness. We release all illness, disease, and disharmony and allow ourselves to release all that no longer serves us so that we may move forward in in a path of new growth, new birth, and new prosperity. As we exhale, we release all that no longer serves us. Exhaling now. Many blessings to you all. Have a beautiful week. Namaste.